So those looking at a fire alarm control unit might see that there's three different lights on there. A trouble light, supervisory light, and an alarm light. And they're wondering, what is the difference between that alarm, trouble, and supervisory? And again, those are all signals that we're getting based on conditions from the fire alarm system. A trouble signal is going to be created from a trouble condition. And a condition could be, is all issues with a fire alarm, the fire alarm system itself. So an example of that could be, maybe I've got a break in initiating device. Maybe I have a ground fault. Maybe my batteries are dying. The trouble means, hey, there's an issue with the fire alarm system that needs to be fixed. Supervisory means there's an issue with a system or a process that we're monitoring with the fire alarm control unit. One of the most common is gonna be the sprinkler system. We monitor sprinkler system control valves and pressure, maybe even water tanks for their temperature. And what a supervisory signal could be created saying, hey, somebody co closed the control valve to a sprinkler system, or we've lost pressure in a dry pipe sprinkler system. That's what supervisory signals mean. And then an alarm signal means that there's an immediate threat to life, property, and mission. And an example of something that can create an alarm condition is gonna be, say I've got smoke in a room setting off a smoke detector. And our response to that is gonna be, we're going to begin notifying the occupants. We're going to send a signal to the first responders. We want the fire department to come to help out with that alarm condition. If you're interested in learning more about fire alarm basics, I'm going to go ahead and link below a, a fact sheet which goes over all fire alarm basics, including notification appliances, initiating devices, all the different components of a fire alarm system. So hopefully you can use that to learn more about fire alarm systems.